What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Um, so I think this is gonna be a two-part video. Same pond as last time. We're hooked up. Is that a, is that a bass? Yeah. Heck yeah. Except we've had a bunch of rain the last few days and it went from, I think in the last like week or something, it went from like eight, 70, 80s to now, I mean, last time I looked at the temperature, my truck's saying 58, but the actual like weather on my phone <clears throat> was telling me 48. But um, yeah, and then this weekend, it, it was raining this morning. It's, we have a break in the weather. It's a little sunny out. Um, a really crappy, super crappy weather right now. Um, needs to stabilize. But yeah, we're gonna go down to the pond might get rained on again in a little bit, but I got the rain jacket on, so we should be okay. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, so, just had to, uh, throw on a, oh, what do they call them? Sun buff, sun mask, wind mask, whatever you would like to call them. And, just because it's, that wind is real cold, honestly. And uh, I'll show you guys something. Check this out. So this is a Luz Classic Pro Speed Spool. And I picked this reel up from Dick's Sporting Goods yesterday because um, number one, I had this rod as an extra and it was in a $20 slot. And when I looked it up online, it was 60 bucks. And it even has a like a rebate to get a free t-shirt from Luz. So I asked the people up at the store, I was like, hey, you know, is this the right price? And they're like, no, but we'll sell you one for that price. So yeah, that's why I got this real. We're gonna test it out. I mean, hey, for 20 bucks, even if I don't end up using it forever, I can throw this on like a cheaper rod or something or give it to somebody. But for now, I am going to use it. There we go. We got one. Wow, that might be a decent one. No, he's just real feisty. All right. Feisty fellow here. That is a healthy fish. Wow. Very healthy fish. Got them on the black and blue chatterbait. Well, the black and blue uh, the needle bug trailer. Pound and a half, maybe. Definitely a fighter. Now that I got this reel dialed in, it's honestly not that bad. I mean, it's nothing compared to the Corrados. And the, the Luz Mach 2 one that I use, still way better. But I mean, hey, I got this thing for 20 bucks. <laughs> it seems to be just fine. So if you're looking for a reel under 100 bucks, for now, I can suggest this Luz Classic Pro. Not saying it'll hold up forever, but if you just need to get something to get you out there, it's honestly isn't that bad. It doesn't cast as smooth as uh, Corrado, but you know, the, my Corrados are uh, 
250 bucks. So. drop shot action over here. We're actually just gonna go up on top of this thing. Usually we wouldn't do that. Dirty water coming out of here. Oh, we got one. Oh, he's fighting like crazy. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's hardly hooked. There we go, look at that. First bass I've ever caught on the drop shot. He's in the, uh, Guggen Squad, Guggen Baits, um, Bunker Log, hold on my mask so I can see you hear me better, Bunker Log, Watermelon Red color, nice little fella, oh he was actually hooked pretty good, up through and around the, what am I call it, mouth. Do it again. Do you want to note that wow, well, this fish twisted this thing all around? Um, I think I'm using a 3 16 ounce, maybe cylinder weight with a uh, the Guggen Baits watermelon red lunker lug. Then I have a VMC drop shot hook and um. We're using 30 pound braid to 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. That was my first ever drop shot fish, so that was pretty cool. Oh, but the main point that I was going to say is we are actually wacky shotting, it's called. Just, just a basic wacky rigged Senko style bait, but on a drop stop, drop shot presentation. No, oh, got another one. Oh, they're schooled up. Man, they like this. Wow. A little guy. But, um, he'll do, huh? He ripped my bait in half. Let's go ahead and get him back. I'm gonna get another worm on there ASAP. And, uh, keep doing that. Bet you there's a few more in there. I hope so. Probably just move all this over there. So these big bite baits, and I kind of custom scented them. Let's try one. Same style bait. It's gonna be a different scent though. So what I did with this, I took like garlic and olive oil. I what else I put in it, but I essentially made a non-scented bait scented. It was just like garlic salt, garlic powder, olive oil, and I soaked them in there for a few days. That could be a change, like, it could be a bad change, or there might not be anything else down there. We don't really know something to keep in mind.
face does have a little bit less action, a little bit more harder of a plastic. All right, we're gonna switch baits. Just because I'm curious if that actually turned them off or there's just none there. Nothing wrong, this bait will put it back in the pack. You can kind of see. It's a normal pack of big boy baits. Oh, I hope that was on camera. Oh, he's got this little guy. I'm trying to get the hook out of him. Try to get another one here. I'm always quiet when I'm talking, by the way. I'm in neighborhood and stuff. I don't want to be loud, attract attention. You know what I mean? There's a really good chance that we fish this spot out. I mean, we caught three, same exact spot. So, but <clears throat> doesn't mean that more aren't hanging out by this area and that they won't come up. shouldn't leave fish to find fish. Oh, there's another one actually. Also could be bluegill. And the bass might be seeing this. And, um, you know, essentially trying to take it from the bluegill. Another one. Oh, he's a little bit better. I lied, he's about the same size. <laughs> but the point is they're schooling and we are on them. It's the most fish I've caught in a video, I think. Heck yeah. But this guy actually pretty much inhaled that bait. Wow. Here. It just blows my mind that like that little bit of a bait change may have just been the reason we caught these last two fish. Because we started out with the lunker log. And then that one, the line ripped through it after those two fish. And I went back to that uh you know that little custom bait that I had same Senko style but it had a different scent and different action and we go back to the lunker log and look at we're catching fish again another one wow that just blows my mind he got off I was playing around with him too much that just blows my mind though they're all stacked up I've never came here and have had this happen. Like usually, a few years ago, I could come here and catch like 15 a day. But this is the first time they've ever been in one spot. Usually I run around, you know, other side of the pond, every which way. But no, they're all right here. It's kind of crazy. Never mind. Another one. Wow, I can't believe this. Hey, go go tell your big mama or <laughs> relative to come and uh butter hook. I think that's eight bass today. No way. Are you kidding me? That was the biggest one we had yet. I didn't even think that I was actually going to do anything right there. He wasn't hooked very well. Got one that time. 
They're still in there. That is just crazy. It just blows my mind. Perfect. No harm done here. Her, whatever. Are you, th this is insane. This is my best day of fishing I think I've ever had as far as like numbers go. Maybe not, but sure feels like it. Oh, you come off the hook. Little guy. Hey, thanks for coming. But looks like we just got another one. Oh. <laughs> that is hilarious. Looks like he has a mustache. Here we go. No harm done. Worms in good condition. Oh, we're caught up. The bad part is there's a bunch of junk down in there that I know of. Might be able to get it undone, maybe not. Could just be the weight too that's stuck. It's the one bad part about the drop shot. The weights like to get stuck. All she wrote. All right, we caught a bunch of fish today. I'm gonna throw maybe a chatterbait once or twice for here. Something like that. But, don't plan on staying that much longer. Goal today was just get out and fish and really try to learn how to use the drop shot effectively and I think I've got it down pretty well All right, that's all she wrote. Uh, we'll do the outro in the truck. All right, so we made it back to the truck. It's uh, 6.30. I don't know what time we got here. I think we fished for like five hours today. Crazy. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys liked the video. If 
finally caught some fish, like I said, a bunch of times. Uh, if you did like the video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends, get someone new into fishing, and I will see you later.